Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And a warm Indian greeting of Namaste. Namaste. And it's a wonderful way for us to begin our sixth annual eighth grade Rhode Island Gandhi essay contest here at the University of Rhode Island, hosted by the university's Center for Nonviolence and Peace Studies. 360 uh, essays were submitted from uh, 25 schools and districts around the uh, state. Anna Schnorr from St. Philomena School. <laughs> Alexis Weiler from Rocky Hill School. Yashri Bihara from Dr. <laughs> Rebecca Franco from Los <laughs> And our first place winner for 2016 is Zoe Petrovas from St. Michael. Speaker, Nicholas Mattiello, the House Majority Leader, John J. DeSimone, and the House Minority Leader, Brian C. Newberry. I'd like to present this to Zoe on winning the 2016 URI Peace and Nonviolent Mahatma Gandhi essay. Great job, good work. Keep it up and continue. Instead of taking an eye for an eye, we can become a society that chooses empathy and nonviolence. We can become a world where retaliation means responding with compassion and love. Uh, I learned a lot from my experience. I mean, I definitely didn't really think about nonviolence before I wrote this essay, so just being able to tap into that, like, just actually get to look back onto the concept even more depth. I actually was surprised at what I learned about nonviolence in general and what I learned about myself. You're not always taught to always take the approach of nonviolence, so I think it's nice to have an essay where we're thinking about a different perspective. Kaylee Benoit from Curtis Corner Middle School. Paige Bucket, Barrington Middle School. Liliana Froner, St. Michael's Country Day School. Anna Marley, Clooney School. And Malcolm Richards, St. Michael's Cathedral. I'm gonna let it shine. 